Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Jeremy Vulo says that Jason Duggar had empty dance floor at his wedding because Duggars don't dance. Jinger Duggar Vulo and Jeremy Vulo are getting candid about the dancing, or lack thereof, on display at Jason Duggar's recent wedding. The couple shared on their latest The Jinger and Jeremy podcast episode that the dance floor at Jeremy's wedding to Maddie Grace was clear most of the time, except for when the DJ played specific hits. Hardly anybody was dancing, Jinger, 30, recalled. So there were some times when the DJ would turn on a song and the dance floor would be full, cause it was, like, the cha-cha slide. He would turn it on, cause it tells you exactly what to do. So, all these people would get out there and do it, and then he'd turn on the next song, and there would be no one out there cause no one knows how to dance, or they don't want to get out there and be the only one, she added. Jeremy, 37, said that the DJ at the event appeared confused after Jason and Maddie opened up the dance floor to the rest of their wedding guests after their first dance and no one went up. He added that the DJ even played hits like Neil Diamond's Sweet Caroline, but there were no takers. I went up to him at one point and I said, Bro, do you have any idea what you got into at this wedding? And he said, No, but it's wild. Jeremy shared. And then, I said, Dude, you just need to know, like, they don't dance. This is the first dance floor at a Duggar wedding. He continued, and he had no idea. Jinger said she didn't dance because she didn't know what I'm doing on the dance floor, but noted that the guests did have some fun when the DJ would play Cha Cha Slide, YMCA, or other songs with some dance instructions in the lyrics. When there were instructions for how to do the dance, everybody went out there and it was a lot of fun, she recalled. Dancing is not part of the Duggar culture at all, and so it was just interesting, she explained elsewhere in the podcast. That was an experience. The former reality star tied the knot with Maddie in a fall ceremony, joined by 300 of their closest friends and family on October 3, 2024, at the estate at Sweetwater Creek. Several of Jason's family members took part in the wedding party, including brothers James, Justin, and Jackson, and sisters Johanna, Jennifer, Jordan, and Josie, the youngest Duggar. Jedediah also served as best man. The pair first connected on Instagram in December, 2023 before Jason popped the question a few months later in August. They shared a joint Instagram post showing snaps from the proposal on the beach, where he created a romantic setup with candles, white flowers, and a lit-up sign reading, Will You Marry Me? Jeremy Vulo, known for his outspoken perspectives and moderate approach to family life, recently made waves by commenting on an old family gathering. The wedding of his brother-in-law, Jason Duggar. In a recent interview, Jeremy dropped a curious tidbit. The dance floor at Jason's wedding was left virtually untouched, all because, according to Jeremy, the Duggars don't dance. This simple comment, while it may seem harmless, pulled back the curtain on some deep-seated traditions within the Duggar family and their interpretation of social norms, sparking a larger conversation about conservative beliefs and their intersection with cultural experiences like dancing. For Jeremy and many others, this divide represents more than just personal preferences, it speaks to varying outlooks on fun, freedom, and expression. Jeremy and the Duggar Family Jeremy Volo is no stranger to controversy, particularly regarding his relationship with the Duggar family and his marriage to Jinger Duggar. Both Jeremy and Jinger have openly spoken about their journey of balancing faith with individualism, marking a noticeable shift from the stricter lifestyle Jinger was raised in. Though they remain devout Christians, their evolving viewpoints have allowed them to embrace things that were once considered taboo, including dancing, a topic that Jeremy says still sits a bit uncomfortably with the Duggars. Despite the family's rules and restrictions, Jeremy has encouraged Chinger to explore and broaden her worldview. From swapping out modest skirts for jeans to moving to Los Angeles, the couple's journey together has shown how they're trying to walk a path true to their beliefs, but also modern and relevant to their personal growth. The Duggar Family's Rules on Dancing To understand why the dance floor at Jason Duggar's wedding was empty, we need to look at the Duggar family's background. As followers of a conservative interpretation of Christianity, the Duggars have a reputation for stringent guidelines regarding physical interactions, entertainment, and public displays of affection. Dancing is one activity that the family has publicly associated with the potential for immodesty and temptation, which can lead people away from a pure relationship with God, according to their beliefs. For the Duggars, dancing represents more than just rhythmic movement. 
It stands as a metaphor for a world of temptation and moral compromise. In Dever culture, most forms of physical closeness are reserved exclusively for marriage, so dancing, even if it's just innocent fun, carries an association of sensuality and closeness that doesn't align with their conservative values. Thus, it's no surprise that Jason's wedding dance floor remained empty, not due to a lack of excitement or celebration, but because of a shared agreement among family members to avoid any situation that might suggest impropriety. A social media stir. Jeremy's offhand remark about Jason's wedding dance floor wasn't intended as criticism, but it quickly gained traction on social media, with fans and critics alike weighing in on the Duggar family's strict rules. Some viewers defended the Duggars, applauding their commitment to faith-based principles, while others found the family's aversion to dancing restrictive and unnecessarily limiting. One Twitter user commented, the Duggar rules are about purity and modesty, which they value more than a party. But let's not pretend they can't have fun, it's just a different kind of fun. In contrast, another Twitter user wrote, dancing is one of the oldest, purest forms of celebration. Sad that they feel they have to miss out. The debate wasn't limited to outsiders either. Jeremy's remark even seemed to inspire a response from Duggar family members themselves, who, while staying clear of direct comments, subtly hinted through social media posts that they viewed his remark as part of the larger misunderstandings about their family. Dancing is a form of expression. For many, dancing is a means of self-expression, a physical language that goes beyond words. It's a celebration, a release, and a universally understood gesture of joy, sorrow, or connection. The Duggar family's rejection of this form of expression highlights the tension between religious convictions and cultural norms. For conservative families like the Duggars, dancing can represent a deviation from scriptural adherence, becoming a way of inviting temptations that are better avoided altogether. In cultures around the world, dance forms a fundamental part of celebrations, from weddings and birthdays to cultural festivals. In some cases, dance is so deeply woven into tradition that avoiding it might feel akin to omitting an essential ritual or symbol. But for the Duggars, the primary focus is on religious conviction, even if it means foregoing customs that others consider fundamental to joyous occasions. Jeremy's Perspective on Fun and Freedom Jeremy Vulo, though also a devout Christian, has openly embraced forms of expression that aren't always accepted within conservative circles. Unlike the Duggars, Jeremy views dancing as an innocent act, a way to celebrate life without compromising personal integrity or faith. His and Jinger's journey represents a shift in thinking about the restrictions that once confined them, creating a space where they can redefine what's permissible within their shared beliefs. By sharing stories like the empty dance floor at Jason's wedding, Jeremy isn't just critiquing his in-laws' rules, he's highlighting his own evolving beliefs and encouraging open dialogue about faith and personal freedom. While Jeremy respects the Duggar family's commitment to their faith, he has become a vocal proponent for exploring personal freedoms, allowing space for religious beliefs to coexist with a more open approach to life experiences. Breaking Free of Cultural Boundaries Jeremy and Jinger's story has resonated with countless young people raised in conservative environments who find themselves drawn to the idea of a balanced faith. For many, Jinger's journey represents the possibility of reconciling strict beliefs with a more expansive outlook on life. By bringing up the Duggar family's no-dancing rule, Jeremy has reminded his followers that personal freedom and faith aren't mutually exclusive. Dancing in this case becomes a symbolic battleground. On one side is a conservative perspective that prioritizes caution and self-control. On the other is a view that sees dance as a harmless expression of joy and unity. Jeremy's commentary opens the door for discussing how religious beliefs can evolve, adapting to modern values without losing their essence.